guys and you join me Justin and I'm here with Sam from the car scene. How's it guys? Long time no see. We are driving uh, the Porsche Taycan. It's, it's not bullshit everybody. Yep. We're driving the Porsche Taycan and um, it's quick. Yeah. Okay Sam are you ready? I'm ready bro. Okay so foot brake, launch oh. control active, you ready? Oh, Dude, it's so <laughs> that's it's what? It's quick. I mean, insert swear words here. Yeah, <laughs> one of them. It's it's stupid. <laughs> it's just we're like one tap of the. Can you call it a throttle or accelerator pedal? Whatever you want to call it. But I think of we the, should start out with the power, Justin. I, I mean, it's so fast. Yeah, and like you say, what makes it fast is the batteries and the, I mean, it's got like the best of the best underneath the skin and we're talking what, 460 kilowatts? 560 on overboost? Yeah, five, 560 on overboost, 0 to 100 with launch control in 2.8 seconds, mm -hmm. uh, 1050 newton meters of torque. But you're forgetting the most important part. A thousand and fifty newton meters of instant yes. torque. Yes, instant. yes, 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 instant. So from the Available moment, all the time. Like, like, I don't have to wait for it to kick down. There, there it it's is. It's just there. Yeah. It's just. It's there. It is so. <laughs> it's so fast. I can't. <laughs> I can't show you guys how fast it is because it's literally incriminating myself. It's very quick. Yeah. It is very quick. And I think, um, I think what's really cool about the Taycan specifically is that it has two gears. And yes. most electric cars don't have two yes. gears. It's got two gears. But you know what I like about it, Sam, is it looks futuristic, yet still current. Yes, it still looks like a Porsche. Yes, it's and still, yeah. it's, not, it's not some tree-hugging, bunny-loving kind of car. It's uh, yeah. It, it looks like a Porsche. It's kind of between the size of a 911 and a Panamera. Yes. But did you know? Oh, sorry, she no, talks sometimes. She talks sometimes. Oh, when you say, it's got like. When you say, hey, it's what this comment. is, yeah. then she comes on, <laughs> asks <laughs> you if she can help or whatever. Anyways, um, I like the look of this thing, but also sitting in here, you wouldn't say that you are in. Uh, an electric car. An electric car. car. I mean, like, it's, yeah. it's, you know, everything is, is Porsche, you know? Like, we've got, yes, we have uh, a whole lot of screens. There's a, a haptic feedback screen down here. We've got a very nice screen for the infotainment, the entire digital instrument cluster. How can I help you? I didn't say that word. Anyways, uh, rude. The, the whole screen, there's space at the back. There's even. The designers have called it a foot garage. A foot garage, yeah. A foot garage where you mm. can put your... There's actually like a recess in the floor where you can put your feet in. So, so where the batteries recess. So obviously yes. being an electric car, the batteries are at the bottom of the car, which means the sense of gravity is lower. So they've made a recess in the battery so you yes. can put your feet so it's in. Yes, so it's more yeah. practical. We've got a frunk and a trunk, which is pretty cool. Um, Not Neither of them are really that big. No, but... I mean, but the big thing for me is the, the acceleration. No, it's that's um, that's, da that's, <laughs> that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Dude. I wanted to mention something. You know when Justin earlier mentioned it's not some kind of bunny hugging, tree hugging thing. Did you know? Yeah. That the Porsche Taycan is made 100% sustainable. How cool is that? So Porsche has obviously paid so much attention to sustainably making the Taycan. I mean, it is a fully electric car. Yes. We are saving the environment, although we're plugging it into the grid. There is that, we're not expelling carbon yeah. monoxides and all of that. Talk about plugging it into the grid. So, the Porsche are putting up their own like, charging ports uh, around the country here in yeah, South Africa. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what they say is, if you use, I think it's what they, the 800... 800 volt system, 800 yeah, volt DC system. charging, yeah. It'll go 5% to 80% in 22 minutes. That is next, that's and, next level. And 5 minutes of charge gives you 100 kilometers range. I mean, look how far we've come. I remember, like, I think back now to like the BMW i8. When, when I had that car, you know, you get home, plug it in. It was a 12 hour 
yeah. stint to charge that thing up, you know? And you know what, those, those uh, Porsche chargers, and they're actually doing like, I don't want to call it mass rollouts, but they are busy rolling out more chargers that are available in the cities and everything to use. Those will be chargers that are free to use for Porsche take on drivers. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting, hey. Drive mode button. Range. Oh, if you... Okay, we get that there's a torque. If you push range, it cuts your speed. Like, throttle's completely dead. <laughs> that feels that feels weird. Yes, we know there's a toll booth ahead. Okay. Jeez. So th there are different driving modes. Uh, we've got normal. We've got uh, sport. We've got sport plus individual. Uh, sport plus is where you know where the fun happens. That's where the fun happens. Mm -mm. So fast. It is so so fast. How's that sense of gravity feel? That's good, right? Feel low and hunker down. Yes. Go. As far as I need it. Where the dangerous fun happens. <laughs> oh, dude, it's very so quick. fast. And then when you brake, it uses regenerative um, the energy to, to kind of recharge the batteries. Which is pretty cool. So I reckon the faster you go, the harder you brake, the further you can actually. Would that work? Yeah, obviously it's regenerative <laughs> braking. So Porsche has told us that you can recoup a third of the car's battery through regenerative braking. Now this is what I find interesting. For a normal petrol-powered car, mm -hmm. your most favorite fuel consumption is on the highway. Yes. However, for an electric car, your most favoured fuel consumption is in the city. Yes. Highway driving is the worst for yes, an electric because car. because you're not really braking. You're not you kind of set that the cruise control braking. and you let the car do its own thing. Whereas in town, you're going, stopping, going, stopping, braking. Exactly. And you get more range back that way. But I mean, listen, let's just talk about highway driving because we've been driving on the highway for a while now. Obviously, it's, it's very comfortable, but it's obviously comfortable. you're going to hear more tire roar, wind well, whistle. It's, it's not, necess mm. not necessarily. I mean, when we put, you, you've got the uh, sound option here where you can yeah. actually put on the sport sound, which gives you like a spaceship kind of. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Yeah, it's definitely noticeable. So that little whine, that's, that's programmed into this. And when you're on the outside, there's also kind of a whine because you've got to let people know that you are in the vicinity, or yeah. else you'll just drive over. Drive over children and dogs, and then it's really bad. <laughs> Something that I find so cool, although this is the car of the future, yeah, it really does feel like a Porsche, does it not? Just yeah, no, it does. And Porsche is I it, feel like a I'm in a Panamera, exactly. But now, the instrument cluster, this whole wraparound thing, I find it so cool. Porsche with their modern day cars have started to pay homage to their previous cars. So this pays homage to the 1963 Porsche 911. Yes. There's little trinkets of little like Porsche heritage everywhere. Other cool things on the car, you know, like you, you still get the wrap. You, got, you, you got still get the Sport Chrono. Sport Chrono. The um, charging port there's one on each side and you control them. And you like there's like little things you like like brush slide your, finger your finger under underneath it, and it, and it lifts like, up. Like, or you can open them from in here. Very cool. So again, it's all this um, this wizardry going on, and I mean, we can talk for hours. hours, and hours. But I think at the end of the day, the main thing to keep in mind here, it is a Porsche. It's a Porsche first and an electric Porsche second. Yeah. Don't you think? I just, I just really like this. I also like it. It's like I one of those really cars like ticks this. all the boxes, and you're everybody's everybody's gonna go hala s car blah blah blah. Reality is, I mean, you're going to get home, you're going to charge your car every night. You're going to leave it on the charger every night. You're going to wake that's up thing. with a full charge. I mean, that's a thing. And you're not traveling more than 400 no. and something Ks oh, a day. Geez, 400 odd kilometers And let's a be day. honest, that's Justin. Lot, let's be very honest. The kind of buyer who buys this car also has a gasoline car. Oh, yeah. And he has another Porsche. I mean, why don't we talk about price for a second? Well, I mean, we are oh, in the top the of the range. Here. Take on Turbo S. Okay, yeah. I mean, naming oddities aside. Yeah, but it's weird. No one there's a turbo. But I mean, like, turbo now stands for a fast one. Yes. So, what you're looking at, you're looking at like just over 4 million yes. rand for this guy. 
but starting price of 2.5 million rand for the 4s for the 4s which is 320 kilowatts not to hundred like four seconds i mean wouldn't that be enough for most buyers that's plenty fast yeah it is plenty, plenty fast. fast and range i mean the range varies from like 388 k's to 412 k's yeah on a single on a single charge which i mean are you really traveling more than 412 k's in a day no no let's be so honest. i mean I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about the technology. I guess, you know, we were in a place a couple of years ago where it was, it was these electric cars were bunny hugging, yeah. tree loving kind of things. And you think of and, innocent leaf and all of that yeah, kind and, of weird stuff. And the, the kind of the passion for the petrol head was thrown aside. Sam? Yeah. It's been a, a brief little drive here. Yes. I mean, there is so much more Oof. about this car that you guys are going to have to go and visit uh, my Instagram channel and at the car scene for, for more info. I mean, if we had to talk about everything in this, we look looking oh. at an hour video. Launch control active, you ready? Oh, dude, it's... <laughs> That's it. What? What's going on? <laughs> what? Bro, I'm like... Dude! <laughs> are you for real? Are you seriously... Nah.